In this video, it is time to say goodbye to pass the Picasso. It came to us, I think it was about 509,000 miles, now has 512,000 miles on the clock. We've done our bit, but it is time to pass the Picasso on. We are heading to Swindon. We will then have uh, the journey home from Swindon, and uh, that's gonna be on public transport. I'm not making the mistake of buying a car again. So we'll see how it compares. Three hours to Swindon, how long is it going to take to get back? We don't know. And who is having it next? We also don't know. Well, I do. Let's go and find them. So, having recorded my little intro, which I decided to do on the um, camera, go away. There's so many awful apps um, on this blooming Galaxy nonsense. Samsung, that's the one. Uh, Swindon Rail Station is where we're going. Finding best route. I have almost no signal here, which is great. Well, we'll leave that doing its thing. It's going to be about three hours. There we go. Three hours, six minutes. Um, we're aiming to be there for the half 12 train, uh, I think. But uh, we'll see how we go. It's a really foggy, miserable day. And uh, yeah, it's time to reflect on our time with... Um, oh, this mount is so annoying. Uh, we've passed the Picasso and uh, it's been very pleasurable. This car has surprised me a lot in many ways. Uh, it, it just drives beyond what you could ever expect of a half million mile car. This is by far the car with the most miles I've ever driven. Uh, the previous winner was a Citroen BX I used to own, uh, which had done just over 300,000 miles. And that felt it. Everything about it felt tired. And uh, this just doesn't, this still feels tight. It's a sign of um, just how much maintenance this car has had over the years. So uh, very impressive, just what a bit of TLC can do and just stump up and, and pay the money when it um, comes to build time. Because you might think, oh, that's a lot of money. Uh, maybe I'll be better off buying another car. Uh, very often you're actually not. You know, if a few hundred quid's worth of expenditure every year gets you another few years motoring, then uh, so be it. So with great apologies, you're gonna see the backside of this rather grim steering wheel. It's not as grim as it looks, it's just degraded uh, because uh, that's what these steering wheels do. The lingo's gone in exactly the same way. Uh, it's not human detritus, it's just the foam breaking up. So um, fret not, it's not quite as grim as it looks. But yeah, how, how has our time been with a Picasso? And it, it's been really good. Like everyone else, we've tried to improve it a bit along the way. Uh, when it was with the Also Driven channel, they serviced it, they cleaned it out. But yeah, the work we've done, we've had um, Tim fit a new exhaust section, we've had a couple of tyres fitted, and uh, we filled the gearbox up with actual oil. Some of which has leaked out, but I think it's a fairly gentle leak. Oh, this is getting so bad, this is turning proper pea soup. I'm going to have to put fog lights on in a minute, which is something I never do. They're almost entirely pointless, really. But it is... Um, very, very gloomy today. Very busy as well. I'm leaving in rush hour. It's um, 10 to 9. It appears things do get busy. Car in front's just put his fog light on. And uh, I can't say I blame him. I think I might do the same. I will say, overall, my impression is this engine is not enough. I see why HD, HDI remaps are a very common thing. And uh, it, it is a bit odd that Citroen weren't moving the ball along because the Citroen BX turbo diesels in the 1980s had 90 brake horsepower. This has 90 brake horsepower, but I'm pretty sure this is heavier than a BX. So actually it's gone a bit backwards. I think with the later 1.6 HDI in these, I think you could get those in a 110 brake horsepower tune and that might feel a bit more like it, albeit the 1.6 is a bit more fragile. But um, I'd, I'd certainly be interested to compare one. But anyway, I'm going to um, continue on and we'll see how the journey goes. I'm actually looking forward to the journey today. Uh, our return journey will take us from Swindon to Swansea on the train, Swansea to Carmarthen, uh, which we're currently driving towards, and then we'll do Carmarthen to Aberaeron on an electric service bus, the new T1 um, service. It's been completely rejigged. I'm, I'm intrigued to know what they're like. So uh, looking forward to that. Uh, and then we've got another bus, the T5, uh, just to um, get us home. 
So it's going to be a long day, but uh, having, having abandoned public transport last time, uh, am I right to use it this time? I guess we're going to find out. And if it's three hours there, how long will it take to get back? Stay tuned and find out. Before we go into the letter sections of this video, a word from our sponsors, which is me. Uh, Hubnut store, we got all manner of goodies, we got key rings, we got stickers, we got mugs, we got hoodies, t-shirts, beanie hats, as it still seems to be quite chilly for the time of year. If you would like any of these items, head to the Hubnut store. You can find it by visiting hubnut.org. Thank you. Now on to motorway, uh, pushing along the M4, we're just going up to Swansea, where I shall be later today changing trains. So uh, it's going to be an interesting journey comparison. It's been a good run so far, we've been going for about an hour and a half, uh, an hour and 53 minutes to go. So approaching halfway, but not quite there yet. And here we go across the bridge once more. Not a suspension bridge. Uh, cantilevered design, I think. I get something wrong every single time. But we're crossing the Bristol Channel. Uh, we will soon land in England. Could this be a clue in front of us? That'd be a TVR Griffith with the upside down Vauxhall Cavalier GSI rear lights. Ooh. Citroen CX door mirrors, Citroen BX windscreen washers. Oh, I love them. Oh, better not say that or I might get demonetized. A Belgian truck here in England. So here we are in Swindon. Uh, this is the glamorous, um, it might have been glamorous once, Swindon station. It's not looking very glamorous now. I'm waiting for the uh, next person for the Picasso to walk through those doors. I'm not going to reveal them, we're going to have a chat and reveal back in the Picasso, which is currently in a car park, but uh, yeah, it's, it's not very nice. It's trying, it's trying to be pleasant, I think, but somehow not quite making it. And annoyingly, the toilet's at the other side of the um, ticket gate, so you have to get in um, before you can actually access toilets. That's quite irritating, but such is life. Uh, it's costing £43 to get back from here to Carmarthen. I don't know what the bus is going to cost on top of that, but um, pretty terrible value compared to the car. I, uh, I filled the car up on Wednesday and put 30 quid's worth of fuel in it, and it's still got quite a lot of that left in it now. So, yeah, there's a reason people don't tend to use the train. So, we are now back in the Picasso. We have the new person, the custodian of Pasta Picasso, right next to me. Uh, in case you haven't worked it out yet, we did see one clue on the way here. Um, let's have some more clues as to who you are. I came from the south. Oh, okay, the south of England, one assumes. No, Texas. I've had one of these before. Oh, and a third clue. Uh, I've worked on two of your cars before. So then, do you know who it is? You've probably worked it out. I, th I think the TBR on the motorway was quite a big clue. <laughs> it's Mr. Kitch. Yay. So, hello, sir. Hello. So are I you thought I worked on two of your cars. Well, sort of. I mean, technically, I'd sold one of them. Betty and Cecily. Oh, Cecily. Christ, I forgot about that. Yeah, it was a long time For ago. For about two I, years. I know, I know you're still yeah. putting videos out. <laughs> yes. But it was I, a long time I had, ago. I made a promise, and I have stuck to that promise. Good. I've made people wait. It, it, it's made me surprisingly um, longing for that car. I didn't expect that emotive response of, oh my gosh, it's Cecily. Yeah, I mean, sitting in this, Cecily seems all right. But, no, that's mean, isn't it? <laughs> that, that, is, that is mean. We've got armrests here We've got armrests. Well. We've yeah. got armrests. These are, these are good cars. I would never, if anyone ever says anything about Picassos on Facebook or whatever, 
if you know they can say things that are subjective mm. but they might not be nice cars but they're really really good cars yeah These are really good cars would not disagree with that at and all. here's your proof yeah look after something yeah. oh well, my god that is lurid isn't it That's, we've just had a chrome green tesla drive past that Yikes. is wow yeah Ooh. Shrinking but yeah I, i'm looking forward to seeing what you get up to yes with, with the picasso i plan to drive it home well i won't take it home because um I really <laughs> the get neighbors sh- might see yeah I, my, my wife might see <laughs> oh um no we're, no i'm gonna take it back and i will um i would quite like to see i'm more interested with it to see how five hundred thousand miles mm-hmm. has affected the car mm. so like what's what's worse because i've had one before that was on about a hundred thousand miles so mm-hmm. i know yeah I, that's what i'm looking forward to because i i think he drives really nicely but yeah i've never owned one before no and i'm not a professional motor mechanic type person. i'm not professional technically but yeah, <laughs> no, I, Close I, yeah. but i'm yeah no i've i've driven enough of them to know what they're like mm. so i i i think i i think everyone's going to believe i'll just hit the mic i think everyone's going to be pleasantly surprised I think I unless there's something really wrong with it. I don't think there is the way I've then been I think it, it's but, I think yeah. it's gonna be yeah, I think it's gonna surprise people. I think it's Excellent. actually it certainly seems apart from the steering wheel. Yeah, looking at it, there's very little clue that this is a half a million miler. No they're they're, crazy. they're really are, they, are these the original seats? I believe so. They have been deep cleaned by Sean at also driven when he had it. But yeah. It really hasn't got any right to be this clean, has it? No, it's crazy. This is nuts. Even that's not all yellowed and stuff. No. So, to see further adventures of past the Picasso, head over to Kish's channel Up and Down, where you're getting perilously close to like 10,000 subs. I know, I need to say something controversial to make people pull away again, to try and knock it back down. I can't go over the 10,000. Oh no, it's going to happen. You you and Whiteland Restoration seem in quite a battle. It's quite interesting. We don't talk about Whiteland Restorations. That's my rival. No, we... (laughs) No, we... um, I, I said uh, when I got to 10k I would do merch and thinking that I would never do it. And you're getting close now, you're going to have to think about it. Yeah, now I'm thinking, yeah. oh, right, okay, I didn't expect that. So, <laughs> yeah, I'll have to add a sticker to this. Well, merch is good, I'm waiting to get some up and down merch. I'm sure plenty of some up and down are. merch. I've got some ideas, I've got Excellent. some ideas, but I need to think of things that aren't too offensive. So. Cool, right, well, I need to run back to the train station and jump on a train. And uh, I look forward to seeing your video reportage on this vehicle. By your standards, uh, 2025, 26? There's no need for that. <laughs> There's no need for that at all. Yeah, no, it's, I will, um, I'm in the middle of uploading uh, videos of the work I'm doing on the C6. Oh, yes. Yeah. Which is causing me to lose the work. Yeah, to and the, the, the last video you did with the C6, I'm guessing you've been having quite a chat with Seaside Garage. <laughs> no, I just said. That was a funny intro. <laughs> no, I just. I, I just I've been watching his, I watched a lot of his stuff recently and I just thought I just I just sat on the front of the car and I was about to start filming and I thought I, I, I think I just said hello and welcome back to Seaside Garage or something like that mm. and I, I thought I'll just dub him over so I had Brilliant. to download one of his entire videos to do it but mm. um, I have got rid of it now it's fine so excellent yeah. well of course you're both BX owners he is a BX owner he's a princess owner I quite like princesses mm. I would quite like a princess and uh yeah he's got he's got all sorts this is a really nice neck of the woods isn't it i'm just looking oh it's beautiful sorry i'm i'm getting distracted again yeah yeah yeah. swindon yeah i think there's a bug i think there's a burglary going on there okay he he why they all got their hoods up i'm gonna run away now and uh get back on the station so yeah head to kitty's channel up and down and you'll find out more about pasta picasso but otherwise i need to get motoring on well not motoring on no, unless you training. Call, unless you call your feet motors. No, no. Now, this is an electric train, but I think it turns. I think the hybrids. I think they've got engines as well because the line isn't electrified all the way. So we'll have a nice, quiet journey to start with, but then it will get mildly noisier as the journey continues. Very clever things, aren't they, trains? Looking fairly busy.
we're running late. We've, I hope we're still going to make a connection. Uh, yeah, I think this one's going to be busy. There's quite a lot of people standing waiting for this one. Still um, over 10 minutes until departure. But yeah, that's what we came in on. You can hear the engines running now because there's no electricity beyond um, Cardiff. It was meant to be, but the government decided they hadn't got the money to do that. The UK government, that is. Um, so the electricity runs out in Cardiff. But uh, yeah, still very smooth, very pleasant to travel on, nice and quiet. But uh, yeah, this is the key difference, isn't it? Three hours drive to get to Swindon, and it's just going to take hours and hours to get home again. Okay, while this train here will get me to Carmarthen, uh, the, the train I'm meant to be on has been delayed. So uh, I think I'm going to go and take a gamble on that. This is due to leave at 3 minutes to 4. Uh, the Carmarthen train uh, at uh, uh, 5 minutes past 4. But uh, seeing as everyone who's just got off this one is now queuing to get on that one. Marvin, that was the uh, train we came in on. I was just about to walk into town, but I realised there's not actually any point. Uh, the uh, bus stops just over there. Although it doesn't come in till um, 10 past 6. No, 10 past 5 rather. So we've got a bit of a wait. So here's a fun fact. Here comes the bus, the electric bus. But uh, we're not going to get it, because at the moment it's on its way into Carmarthen and we're gonna wait for it to come back out of Carmarthen and then head up to Lampeter. But like I say, that's just going then into Carmarthen Town Centre, which is just over here, just in the castle ruins in the distance. Uh, well worth a bit of an explore, really. We've got a few favorite eateries in Carmarthen. I think we've done a video on it. But uh, yeah, here it comes, the brand new electric bus. <laughs> Certainly very peaceful. So Yutong, it looks like. They are Chinese, of course they are. But uh, running between here and Aberystwyth, which is a fair old trek away. So uh, I might have to do some digging around and find out a bit more about them, because I don't know how many miles they do on a, a charge and where they charge up. It'd be quite interesting to find out, maybe. But uh, here it comes again. And we shall get on YOK very shortly. I had hoped to get some train drive away footage, but uh, it's been delayed. Uh, no crew. So uh, I'll go back to waiting for my bus. And many hours later, finally back home. Um, I've slightly lost track of how many hours it is. I think it's six and a bit uh, hours to get back. So a three hour journey in a car is six and a bit hours. Um, on for Will you stop rustling? Uh, so yeah, quite long winded. The um, uh, after the train, we, we got the bus, the electric bus, quite smart, quite a few nice features, some of the charge your phone and stuff, and even a little stand for it. And uh, then I went on to a noisier bus for the last bit home, but I'm back. And uh, some tremendous news did await me. What is that tremendous news, dear? Hello. I am a little bit closer to being on the road. I passed my theory test today. Woohoo! Well done. Mm. Uh, Very happy news. Oh my gosh, that was Indeed. a PDA. PDA was it? Was that display of affection? Okay, I thought PDA was something you wrote in. Oh yeah, that was back in the day, wasn't back it? Back in the day, yeah. oh, I used to work in IT. Yeah. <laughs> confusion <laughs> but so yes cool. some very good news to come home to which is very um heartwarming after what was a very demoralizing journey on public transport some lovely views in places but oh it's I nice to be public transport as well. yeah? Mm. yeah yeah well, well hopefully you know you'll know one step not closer to not having to do that, that. Yeah, yeah yeah and then we can like double team to go driving places and not have to use trains and buses it's double team a phrase that's used in instant in innocent terms yes oh oh Anyway, uh, that's the end of that one. It was, it was lovely to see Mr. Kitch. We'll see what he does with the Picasso. He will be releasing his video imminently, he says. And, uh, yeah, we, we shall see you yeah, in a future it's, it's video. Interesting. The interesting thing is that 
nobody's kind of made the connection. The connection that's been made is that Kitch has had the 106, what she has not. Mm. No. And he and two years ago, he got that. Did, did you know he's got an SM? Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, he may, he may have um, dropped a hint about that earlier. Oh. Two years today, apparently. Yeah, and he got another Citroen today. Another one. Oh, of course, yes. Yeah, the one you just did. The, the not a keeper one. No, yeah. yeah. But yeah, I'm very glad to be home anyway. Uh, so we'll wrap that one up. And yeah, say, and we'll do a, um, at some point we'll do a little video on passing the theory test. Because I think there are hints and tips that will be quite helpful to people. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And we shall see you in a future video. Farewell. Bye. Where are you going? Ooh, let's go here. Sublimnessa, new in, next stop, new in. Thinking audio, out.